And now we're on the final level. Hey! Um, so this one's a little mazy, but I did a little bit of preemptive um, map gazing just to remind myself where things were. Right on. Um, so now we get to fight Quan Chi. Well, first we gotta fight the dominatrices. Ah, uh, then Quan Chi. Yes. Then Shinnok. Yes. That's a lot of bosses. <laughs> Yep, it's a it's an action-packed finale. So, uh, I'm, whoa! I'm also the, yeah, <laughs> right out the fucking gate, huh? Okay, yeah. See, like if they block you, they'll they're 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 bad motherfuckers, man. He's a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Oh wait, no, that's Jax. Jax. Um. Yeah, so there's two of these elevators, and they each lead to their little mini maze. Um, and then there's also like, so you get keys from the um, the chicks, and then you need to push put these keys in specific places. Uh, uh, you know, uh, before we um, lose track of, um, of uh, talking about him, I've uh, got to say. In spite of how sometimes tasteless of a franchise uh, MK can be, and how devoted it, 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 it is to uh, dumb fun action, um, I, I, I do have to say it's a pretty nice how um, uh, there's very little in terms of um, subtle uh, 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 racial stereotypes with uh, Jax. Mm. Like, all that's really there is the fact that he's kind of angry, so you've got that uh, angry black guy stereotype. But really, like, all things considered, he's just like a military dude. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty cool. Well, I think he's... I, I reckon he was somewhat inspired by, uh... Um... um Carl Weathers' character in Predator. Oh, um, okay. Especially since they use Carl Weathers' likeness for Jackson and MKX for one of his bonus uh, skins. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, that came with the Predator DLC. Okay, so this is Jataka, the I would say the least popular of the assassins. Uh, So let's get her out of the way. Um, she uh, doesn't seem to be that, that uh, trip. Hey, we got more moves. Yeah, so this is a move like, I don't know, it's like it freezes your character from up close. It's like a melee freeze move. Um, it doesn't have a ton of strategic uh, use, I don't think. I mean, maybe. But for like a advanced move this far down the line that's surprisingly useless. Uh, let's see. You know what, I'm just gonna wait till the elevator's done so that... <clears throat> you uh, can't even see how many special moves you're gonna unlock after the effect thing. No. Oh, you can scroll. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so super slide and then freeze on contact. Down towards the worst side punch. Oh! Okay, so you can actually do it when running. That's good. Do you still have uh, one more to get? Yeah, yeah, the, the ultimate. Uh, okay, so where are we now? We are... Sucker! That... Oh! I thought that was you for a second. <laughs> Everything's happened so fast <laughs> in these Western <laughs> fighting games. And yet, I'm still alive with my uh, sliver of health. Or if... Uh, okay, so now, if we go here, we might... No, no, this one will be We'll go here, and not get hit by these uh, pendulums. You know, I've got to say, mm. nothing in this, apart from, um... Well, no, um, only really the uh, water temple has um, been cryptic to the point of being actually frustrating. Yeah. Pretty much uh, ev ev everything else here is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, not that bad. Yeah. I mean, well, the problem with water temple is that you do have uh, 
height damage and death pits. Yeah. Which, like with this level, there is a maze, but at least like you can't fall to your death. Mm -hmm. So this is the leftmost key area. So what you need to do is do the sides first and then the middle. But um, it depends on which key you get from which assassin. So like right now, what, what I'm doing is the most efficient in that I'm. I got my first key and now I get rid of it. Yeah. So then I'm gonna get my second key, I'm gonna go get rid of that, and then obtain the third. And that way um, we could do a little bit of verb collecting before the final bosses. It's probably going to help out a lot. Yeah, I mean, again, like, I know my way around this game well enough that I can probably strong arm Quan Chi pretty comfortably. Uh, so this is Kia. This uh, actress who plays her, she's the one who did Sonya in MK3. Oh, okay. Uh, and her name is, uh, I should know, Carrie Hoskins. Um, she was also in Revolution X as, like, the military chick. Uh, okay, I can't. You could kind of stun lock into an extent. Uh, 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 Mortal Kombat characters go off of like a couple kind of extremes. Where like now, for example, you have uh, enemies or bosses that just kind of stand there for like <laughs> five to ten second straight periods. Yeah. Or they're on constant like um, just or they're just constantly uh, combo. Yeah. I mean, the thing is like. If they do land a combo, they they do deal quite a bit of damage. So yeah, you don't want them to be too aggressive. Uh, and I mean, I guess that's what happens when you have a small team and you need to balance a game. You just have to uh, remember that you're not trying to suck quarters out of people with this one. Not this one, no. So now we're gonna take the right key. And bring it to the right section of the whole pyramid. Mm -hmm. Ah, hell of a slide! Man. Yeah, that's a super slide. See, if you know that there's an enemy ahead of you, it's really useful to knock them off their feet preemptively. of these dead ends here have herbs, so I'll look good. Um, now you can make an advanced potion. If I have a, if I had a potion. But if not, I can just have double extra herbs. Wait, that's the uh, healer though, right? Yeah, 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 the healer is the, the combined. Um, there are no red herbs. Or green herbs, they're just herbs. Or blue herbs, because there's no poison in it. Which, which franchise would you, uh, would you say that you have um, more um, uh, ob obscure knowledge of? Uh, Resident Evil or uh, MK? Well, I would say MK now, since I lost a lot of uh, true, yeah. touch with Resident Evil. But like, I used to be like an encyclopedia of it back, like, prior to 2005, I guess. Um, I, I guess for, um, for uh, 1 through 3, you are uh, still out there. Yeah, I would say so. Um, but like... Okay, and here's our final mini-boss, and that's Serena, so with her... Uh, you get the same option as with your first battle with Scorpion, so you you could finish her off, but if you don't, she helps you later. Isn't she in um, Armageddon? She is, yes. They uh, 
She was just popular enough for them to include her. Um, also, they they included her in MK Deadly. Well, like the second version of Deadly Alliance for the Game Boy Advance had her in it, and there it is, the big Mama Jamma. And uh, so, like the. Yeah, so that version of the Game Boy Advance game, like, they had a couple of, like, new characters. But, um, so they had, like, Sektor and Noob Saibot, but both of those were palette swaps. Right. But with Serena, they actually made a brand new 3D model of them. Right. And we're gonna spare her life. I'll spare you. There you go. And I'm not even gonna molest her after. You, um, uh, 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 this actually kind of reminds me of, um, what I was doing. I don't know, uh, maybe it's uh, just the fact that, um, we were just talking about, about, um, Ari, but, um, that, um, the, uh, part, oh, no, wait, fuck, this is a part in, in, in a four, so this is gonna fall on a, on, on, on a deck so. I played four. Quite a lot, so I. It's uh, I, like I would know what you're referring to, I think. It's uh, like how you saved the dog at the, at, at the start of Amari um, Four from from the uh, bear trap for you to go on to help you with um, El Gigante. Right. You are you are familiar yeah. with it that part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Can't think about anything other than Rosie. Like, except in this case, you get an, uh, you also get a nice little. Uh, Cheesy cutscene on top. Oh boy! Uh, so you know that—that's a reward in and of itself. Really. What? What? A cheesy cutscene in Mortal Kombat? <laughs> Listen now, Eric. I don't know if I can trust this. Oh wait, yeah. the other one. There you go. So, uh, we'll get plenty of jive. So yeah, speaking of, you were talking about like lack of uh, racial stereotypes. I guess I guess that would be an exception with special forces as well. So, well, well, like uh, 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 surprisingly few at uh, the very least. Right. Like uh, Jax is just like a tough dude. That's right. More, that's more or less all he's doing. Yeah. So, so I guess what I'm saying is I guess that's another point to discredit special forces. Uh, but does, does special forces get like really racist? Or no, like, no, it just has a lot of jive talk and. Oh. Right. Um, but we'll get to that someday. Gotcha. And we'll have our fun with it. Looking forward to Jax that. Jax is... Well, that Jax is destined to uh, join the pantheon of ridicule along with Bryce. Uh, okay. <laughs> what you talking about, John Cage? What you talking about, everybody? <laughs> uh... Okay, so I think I'm going the right way. Now we're looking for. Oh, you did face. Now we're looking for the center cradle. I don't know what you would call this, but here we are. Here we go. And we are full of items and five urns and our last key and our wonderful conclusion with our. More. Oh my god, the Triforce is complete. <laughs> he's even holding he's even holding his hands up. This is this is just the This is just the ending of um a, a Link to the Past. Come on now. <laughs> Maybe that's how the uh, the alternate timeline happens. Oh. It splits into the it splits into the Legend of Zelda. That shot of him opening his his eyes was was Quanchi going, this franchise is just a Legend of Zelda spin-off. Never, so, 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 so
Funny thing, um, last time we talked about the uh, the Saturday morning cartoon. Yes. Um, so I totally forgot about this, but that was actually that cartoon was actually the, the first debut of Quan Chi. Oh. Yeah. Now I don't know exactly what the story there is. Um, whether they saw like concept art, because this game I think was in production at the time. Um, That's a neat throw that he has. Jeez. So, technically, the first time the world ever saw Quan Chi was in the Saturday morning cartoon, and... Uh, so, so, uh, so uh, what you're saying is that the canon version of Quan Chi, the uh, one that matters, is the Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that would, that would be horrible. <laughs> he was not portrayed very well in the cartoon, I have to admit, but... He was full of, uh... Of uh, Rachel stereotypes. It was like, <laughs> no, it, that episode in particular wasn't even animated too well either. Ah. So, um, but it's just interesting to think that he became such a huge, like, popular character. Alright. Um, I'm not too worried about the reverse. And he's gonna die soon anyway, because, we'll see, so here, we don't have to actually, um, kill him all the way, because Serena helps us. Wait for it. Alright now, Serena. Any minute? Ah. Come on, girl. I s spared your life. We got this, don't worry. Okay, time. I'm gonna let you focus. It. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Sub Zero is not a nice dude. <laughs> well, not this one. He's technically tainted with evil. That's why he's in another row. And that's why he becomes Noob Saiba. Ah, yes, that's true. <laughs> Why did you help me? You are still immortal. That means you can escape the night alone. There won't be anywhere to go if I don't get the amulet back. Take me with you. I've waited an eternity to escape. You don't understand. I can't leave you. Man, she's fucking dead. Yeah, and so if you do kill Scorpion at the beginning. This is all you get of Qua of a uh, Shinnok. But if you don't kill him, then instead of Scorpion in that prison cell, you get to meet Shinnok and he they actually have a conversation. Oh. Yeah. Feel my power. Um. I, so you can't actually fight him. Um, it's a trick fight. So you have to, what you have to do is... Uh, when he's about to fire off a projectile... You have to uh, freeze them. Uh, but, uh, hey, come here, come here. Just a little closer. There you go. Okay. Come on now. Shoot me. Sucker. And then freeze him one more time for good measure. And steal his amulet. Ah! But now he does this. And bashes the floor continuously while heading towards you. So, we have our... Ah, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> that is a meaty boss. Yeah, so you could you could run away and just finish the game, but like I said, we're gonna finish him. Was this also uh, Shinnok's first appearance? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, like I said, this came out, I think, like, in tandem with MK4, so... Oh, okay, okay. Um, okay, yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> I like how like she just got some sparkles. He really wants you to appear to uh, to uh, to appear his power. I don't know if it says fear or feel. Feel my power. I don't. Anyway, okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna let you focus here. So yeah, it's essentially a screen clearing move, and it's gonna do a little bit of damage to him every time I do it. I just need to make sure that uh, I'm far enough that he doesn't bash me. You, you got this. But as you can see, it drains all of my stamina, so I need to like. There you go. So you don't even need every urn technically. And now we're done. Just more cutscene goodness. Let's see this good cutscene. Here. I got <laughs> fucked up for this man. Depressive <laughs> sub zero. Perhaps you'll reconcile your wrecked path after all. That's it? Not even a thank you? Thank yourself for undoing the problem that you created. Watch me believe that you sent me because my soul was tainted with evil. Is that true? You are a superb warrior, sub zero. Only you can control your destiny. Not even the gods can alter your chosen path in life. Was that a yes? Or a no? That was a yes. But only you That speech was so long that you, you almost forget what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> Am I actually a bad guy? I vowed to serve and obey the Lin Kuei. Welcome back, my warrior. I have a new undertaking for you. It seems your exploits have caught the eye of another sorcerer. I would like you to meet the retainer of this service. His name is Shang Tsung, and he would like you to compete in a small tournament. It's called Mortal Kombat. Is that so? And there we go. Wait a second. Everything that we just saw at the end there could have actually been done if you hadn't beaten um, Shinnok at the end. So what actually changes based on that? Nothing. You just get bloopers at the end. Oh, we're I, we're I, we're going to get some after the uh, credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Dan Forden. He made the music. Toasty. Good old Dan Toasty Forden. Yep. That was mythologies. Yes, it was. It was, uh, and it's that was fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was it, it, when you when you know what not to do, it yeah. can be an enjoyable experience. Sure, does that game drastically, and you know makes it less annoying. Um, but yeah, artistically, I love it in terms of like the uh, level designs and stuff like that. I think it fits right in with Mortal Kombat. Well, except for those giant robots, I guess, but... And perhaps the night riding of... Yeah. Uh, yeah, so then we get wonderful... Uh, Everyone re re uh, remembers Hulk Monk. <laughs> uh, Sal De Vida, he was a designer there, too, and he did, he did the... Uh, Capture for all the robots in MK3 and Nightwolf. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he's like. It, I like his interviews because he's, like I said, he's also like worked on the game, so mm -hmm. he can actually like answer the more technical questions about how it was done. Mm -hmm. In addition to like work, yeah. being the yeah. Um, gaffer. I'm a gaffer. I love this uh, 15 frames per second. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> it's kind of down there, isn't it? Yeah, not that it needs to be more, but it does. Best boy, Steve Baran. <laughs> <laughs> he was the best one. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> He's like one of the higher ups at the studio, like. At a Midway. Well, at Netherrealm Net Net Studio, like yeah, on the MK Net team. Net so I don't know what like. On this particular game, what being best boy means, but <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking funny. Yeah. All right. Oh, of course. 
It's like we, we thank our families for uh, letting us neglect them. Of so course. Long. We gotta go make Mortal Kombat. All of our dogs. And then... Alright, here we go. Here you go, folks. I heard things. I heard things. I heard things. You are reality's only hope. I can't move without the. Cart King oh. became head roadie for the Who. Hey! Gained 300 pounds on the sausage diet. Hey! Good job! <laughs> Attacked by rabid dogs. Became aerobics instructor at local gym. <laughs> Who is Eugene Jeter? Did he ever exist? <laughs> New spokesman for Council of, for Abstinence. <laughs> And that is Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub Zero. Okay. What'd you think? Um, I think that that last five minutes that we just experienced was perhaps the uh, the uh, most en en entertaining part uh, uh, part of this whole thing. But that was all pretty good, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's better than I expected uh, uh, coming in last time. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, this is Eric. This is Matt. And uh, can't wait for MK11. God, can't wait can't wait for more juicy fatalities. Alrighty guys, take care. Take care.